for succession, restructuring, are expressions of frustration. Jerry Donner. Greetings to all my fellow countrymen and women. I guess we are all doing great in our respective locations. My word of affirmation for you this Sunday is that joy is the foundation of every good thing. It is what fuels hope, which in turn activates faith and paves the way for the miraculous. That is not all. Just wait to hear the main cocoa about joy. But please, can you give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you. The fat is the most severe problem facing the people of Nigeria is the issue of security of life and property. People are very disturbed because they see almost daily in various parts of the country how people are being kidnapped, killed and so on. So insecurity has become a very serious problem and I want to appeal to President Muhammad Buhari led federal government to have a critical look at the issues of restoration of peace and security across the nation. The constitution of Nigeria affirms and we all agree with it that the security and welfare of the Nigeria people is the primary purpose of the government. The second is the economic Nigeria's economy is in a precarious situation, especially if you look at the exchange rates. The exchange rates has put Nigeria at ranks with some worthless currencies in Africa now. Somebody was reminding me just yesterday that in 1980s, a thousand dollars cost 519 naira. Now it is one dollar. That is the same value. Most importantly, the government should critically look at the Central Bank of Nigeria CBN policy to achieve desired results. Some of the CBN policy is wrong and the government must try to get it right starting from the fundamentals of providing infrastructure for rebuilding the economy in terms of road, railway, waterways and especially power. Nigerians deserve a better life. Amazingly, we are still unable to reach the level which we got to under the first democratically elected president of Nigeria, the late Shewu Shagari administration in the 1983. It is totally unacceptable because the previous government raised power generation to about 6,000 megawatts and built about 10 power plants, but none of them are working effectively today. The issue of power is critical. Power energizes the economic, the industrial sector, the production sector. Without power, you cannot transform the country. Therefore, respect the principle of federalism so that you don't concrete much power at the center. Power should be devolved. When people are talking about restructuring, they are not calling for a total breakup of the country. They are calling for respect for the principles of federalism in which functions are delegated down to the federating units. On the other hand, religion leaders have a role to play. The most powerful role of worship centers is to prepare the people. This is because the people go to worship places on a daily basis for solace. Hence, the leaders should help to transform their lives by preaching the word of God so that they are truly transformed and also teaching the citizens how to create a civil society governed by righteousness and obeying the law. For instance, Worshipping centers should be orderly so that they will in turn create free and fair and peaceful elections. The security situation is something of a profound worry. However, people should see it differently because this is the beauty of our democracy. Understandably, we must see it like that because and that is what the government has promised to do, especially in the areas of insecurity. However, they have failed to deliver. The people should wait for the election and not get frustrated because 
elections are ways of rejuvenating and putting new people in power to do the needful. We should not be discouraged. As we are moving on, we hope we will keep moving the election for a change of government. That is why the election must not be ringed. The people's will must prevail. If the people now feel very frustrated, they should express it at the ballot by rejecting failed politicians and bad people and put good people into government so that there will be peace and security. We should punish those who are failed. That is the beauty of democracy. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you. How I wish the people in power to listen to the advice of Professor Jerry Ghana, but the car brains in power would not heed due to their self-interest. Baba had said it all. Coming election in 2023, these car brains should be voted out of power. The selfish politicians need to go, need to be voted out of power. There should be devaluation of power as suggested by the wise man. It is high time we liberate Nigerian from selfish and brainless politicians and psychophants. Let the religious leaders wake up and teach the people the true mind of God instead of sapping members of little money they have. The religious leaders should serve people and God instead of serving the tables. Like Pajeri Ghana had advocated, Nigeria needs serious prayer to survive. And I will conclude by saying to my subscribers and yet-to-be subscribers, when you take on life with a stance of joy and thankfulness, it becomes evident. And you will find yourself shining brightly like the stars in the sky. Your joy will ignite a light within you that cannot be dimmed or hidden but emblazing the atmosphere. So no matter what does or does not happen, please protect your joy. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please, if this is the first time here, click on the notification button for more updates. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.